So what is going on YouTube and welcome back to one of uh, another one of our vlog videos let's say that and today we're going to talk about something that, that kind of came across my mind the other day. Stay tuned. So today, you see, I'm 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 kind of in the car. Uh, yeah, it's uh, um, I'm about to, uh, to head home from work. I'm waiting for my wife to come out. We actually end up uh, we work at the same place. Uh, we, we both work in education. And I, I'm I'm uh, in leadership administration uh, in middle school, and she works on the same campus in the primary school as a teacher. And my kids actually go to the school too, so we all go to the same place. So it's it's pretty convenient. But while I'm waiting on them to come out. I thought I would shoot a quick video uh, here with the sun, sun beaming in my face, but uh, yeah. So this 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 uh, this last couple of months is November, October, but then even now December so far has been pretty eventful and had the chance to, to kind of you know catch up with some family, which has been great. Um, and but then even think about as the year is ending, which it came so fast, but as the year is ending, like thinking about my goals. And, uh, and things I wanted to get done this year, or even then now, like what are my goals for next year? And what does that look like? And, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's been, it's been something. And one, one thing, one thing I, I really do a lot is, is I professionally develop. I read, I try to grow myself, try to improve myself, try to get better understanding of things or deeper understanding of things. So I do read a lot of books. I got a Kindle. I sign up for Kindle Unlimited. I, do, I, I listen to Audible while I work out all that good stuff so um if you want to know about some good books let me know uh i, I, I always know of some good books for you to read um the, the latest one that i finished that i'll say was great was the coaching habit um then uh, i think it was the wealth choice uh was uh was pretty good i want to say it's kill go it's not kill go but um if you've ever read the uh think and grow rich the black choice that uh, the same author wrote this book, but it's a more modern take on kind of the same kind of idea of the older book. Uh, but it's a great book. And he has a book that I always read, uh, Daily Motivations for African-American Success. It might be called something different, but it's Daily Motivations by that uh, by that same author. Um, I, I can't think of his name, though. Oh, golly, I can't think of his name. I, I'll try to put it down here at the bottom when I edit through the video so, so I don't just leave you without the name. But... He has a lot of great books to read if you have not read them. Um, I, I, I think in reading that book, it was, it was great to read. And, and the Daily Motivation one is always great to read and give you something great to meditate on and, and, and kind of pray about. Um, or, or I use the app when I, when I go do that and, uh, and use the, the Bible app and a meditation app, Calm, uh, to, to you know get some great content going for me there. So, uh, But yeah, so um, I started... Uh, a little bit ago to read a book called uh, 12 Months to a Million. Um, I can't I can't remember this guy's name either right now, but I know um, he has a conference down in Austin that I'd heard about before and a video on YouTube that I saw about, about, you know, building Amazon businesses. And I was interested in that at the time. This was a couple of years ago. Uh, and he has a website called capitalism.com that he started and runs. So uh, I was interested to see the book came out and this is here recently. So I got the audible version and I've been listening to it just to kind of see what they're talking about because, because I do, I have started some websites myself and, um, and, and want to grow those and, and do better, you know, expand my, my reach output, my revenue and my profit, you know? So, uh, I was reading that book and he recommended a podcast, um, that I started listening to, but I haven't finished it, but just the title of it, uh, what, what was, was triggering enough for me to, to provoke some deep thought. And um, the podcast is called uh, "You Are Enough," and um, it just it just made me ask the question: What if you are actually enough already? And I was like, "Oh, that, uh, that's deep. That that's big. W what if all that we're going through, all the things that we think it, we think about, what if everything we're pushing towards, and we've kind of put off?" Um, and, and, and we were seeking like learning or development or validation or money or another relationship to prepare us or to equip us to do something 
but in actuality, we are already enough already. So um, it's something that, that I thought about and I prayed about and I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'm not sure where you where you're at or what you're doing, but here uh, here towards the end of the year where I may not have another vlog episode come out for you. Uh, I just want to pose the question to you. What if you are actually enough already? What if you're smart enough already? What if you're gifted enough already? What if you have enough money already? What if you have enough time already? What if the what if the person that you are is not broken is not is not uh, I guess is not lacking anything and you have everything you need within you already to be who you're trying to be if that was true and if you have what you need already what would you be doing or what could you be doing differently right now for yourself and for your life take some time to think about that question uh, what if you're enough already? Um, yeah, so uh, here, here, as you think about that, uh, the next couple of videos that I have come out in the vlog series, um, you know, I'm big into tech. Uh, there is, or you know, Google. Google sent me a um, an offer to get a free uh, Google Stadia. I guess it's their gaming system. Um, nowadays, I don't game as much. When I was younger, I did. I used to play games. You know, the Halos, Call of Duties, all that kind of stuff it was my thing. I got a military background. Um, but uh, I want to... I want to take some time and look at what they send me um, because it's, it's pretty much cloud gaming. You know, I've always played Xbox, PlayStation, but now they have this game system that's that's all cloud based. And, and supposedly I can play it from anywhere uh, as long as I got my laptop and Wi-Fi or I have this Google Chromecast Ultra. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, on this next video, I'm going to talk about that a little bit. But I wanted to make sure you got this today. And, and, and don't just don't just intend to do this and skip it. Take some time to actually sit down and think about and meditate on how your life could be different and what you can change if you believe that right now you were already enough. And before this year is out, take some time to consider that, to think on that, to pray on that, to even examine your life to see where you are actually already enough. And it's just mental hangups and mindset that are keeping you from where you want to be and doing what you want to do. And and that was a realization that I had, that mindset was keeping me from, from, from being me and moving forward. So as I'm wrapping up, again, my next video is gonna be very interesting if you're interested in tech, as you look at some of this cloud gaming and this Google Stadia, you know, Google usually puts out good stuff. So uh, that, and, and before this year's out, make sure you take some time to even stop and, and, and consider, are you already enough? So thank you for spending this time with me today uh, and coming out and, and, and just listening to what I'm talking about on this vlog. And until next time, have faith, be safe, and we'll see you soon.